Hello guys, in this video I want to show you a blend tree. What is a blend tree? It's something very useful, very cool and I'm kind of going to cross what we did before but I had to do it to explain to you how transition works. So first let's make a blend tree for jump and fall. Here in the graphics actually we don't have a really a jump and fall sprite. This one I wouldn't call it that, you know, just a couple of them. But still, we can use them, why not? Let's just go to animation of a player, create new clip, asset, animation, player, jump. And for this one, we're gonna use only one sprite, just this one. So when he jumps, he looks like so. And that's okay, that's kinda pretty. Let's make another one, player, fall. And second one gonna be for fall. So this is how it's gonna look when he is falling. Actually, these two sprites could fit as well, I guess. I think we should. Well, let's try just to see something different. Why not? Uh, they cut it. They're not cut it. So I'm gonna do it. Read by cell size. 16 by 16. Slice. Apply. Now let's take this second one for falling. Hey, you. Be visible. So I think it's okay. If not, we can always change it. Now let's go back to animator and we have these two animations and what we could do is to make sure that player is not grounded and then transfer to jump and then when velocity of the character is below zero, like less, like negative y, then we could transfer to player fall. But what I want to do here is to create a blend tree. Let's go here, create from new blend tree and I'm gonna name it as jump Fall. You can see it automatically created a parameter, so I'm going to rename it to Y Velocity. And now inside of this we have a Y Velocity slider, which we can use to transfer between animations. Basically we can blend between animations. What I'm going to do here is to click this icon Add Motion Field and add another one. For the first one it's going to be Player Fall. For the second one it's going to be Player Jump. And we're gonna uncheck automate threshold and then we're gonna transfer to fall if it is minus one and transfer to jump if it is one. Now if I drag this window over here I can see animations and if I drag the slider you can see how it's gonna be changed. Let's drag it to negative. He's falling. Let's drag it to positive. He's jumping. Right? So this is this. <laughs> I don't like this sprite. But I want to see it in the action. I think I'm going to change it, but first let's see it in the action. So now the task is to control the slider in the code. And you already know how to do that. And before we continue, I want to say thanks to all of my Patreons and give special thanks to Friendly Robot, SKT1 Mighty Poppy, Steven and Gennady, Chen Son, and Retrobat Gamer. Thanks to you guys, these videos are possible. So let's go and do it quickly right now without thinking about it. Just here, I'm going to do anim set float y velocity equals to rb velocity dot y and that's it let's go back now this slider will be controlled by the y velocity of the rigid body and now we just need to transfer to this animation in some cases transfer to this blend tree what i want to do here is to transfer only if he's not grounded so i'm gonna create boolean is grounded and we're gonna make transition from idle to jump and you can see if I click condition here, is grounded is the last in the list and first one is moving. So just to save you a couple of seconds in the future creation of the parameters in the animator, you can just drag it above and now it will be first in the list. It's really helpful when you have a list of 12 or more booleans, I would say. So if grounded falls, we transfer to jump fall, uncheck exit time, duration zero, and then we go back if Oh, sorry let me hide this let me go back if grounded is true again and check exit time duration zero now there is a slight issue with this one you can see i can transfer from idle to jump but i cannot transfer from move to jump right now let's try this oh it won't work wait a second it won't work now uh, let's actually assign this boolean in the code because Right now it's just created as a parameter, but we did not use it. So back in the Visual Studio over here, we need to make anim set bool 
of E is grounded to E is grounded, just like so. Sorry, maybe it was too fast. Yeah, is grounded, is grounded. And again, make sure you have same name here as you have right here. Good. Now we can go and try this and there are going to be a slight misbehavior that we can fix in a couple of ways. So now I'm standing, I'm jumping. Looks like that. <laughs> this is so funny. Okay, I don't like the sprite. Let me try to change it. Player fall, just this one. Do you think we should switch them? When he jumps, it looks like falling would be better. All right, I'm going to go to animation, find jump, delete, and place this one, the second one. And for the fall, I'm going to delete and place this one, the first one. It's going to be better, I believe. Now he jumps, falling. Now, the issue here is, I, by the way, I still don't like it. I think I'll fix it later. So the issue is here, it transfers to jump, when I'm standing, but if I'm moving, it won't do that because we have transition from idle to jump fall, but no transition from move to jump fall. We could fix it in a couple of ways. We could just do it from any state. So let's delete this one, make transition to jump fall. If is grounded true, duration zero, and uncheck can transit to self. This is important. Now it will work the way we want to. Oh, no, oh, is grounded false. My bad. So now I'm transferring to jump fall whenever I jump. And it doesn't matter I was in idle or in move animation. And that is one way to fix it. And we could keep it like so. But I want to do something here. I want to use blend tree for the move and idle as well. Just want to show you how it could work, like an alternative. But if you keep it as it is right now, it is completely fine. It will work as well. So what I'm going to do here, oh, sorry. Yeah, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to delete these two and I'm going to make new blend tree, which I'll name as idle move. And inside, we're going to set it up. I'm just going to create new parameter, load x velocity, and I'm going to use it here, x velocity. Now let's add motion field one two, three, and uncheck automate threshold. We need it because we can move negative on the X, so it's gonna be player move, then we can stand in the idle, then we can move to the right. And now this is gonna be minus one, zero, one. Now check this out. I'm gonna drag slider to the right, Wait, let's click play over here. Yeah, I'm going to drag slider to the right. He's moving. I'm going to make it zero, like if velocity would be zero. He's stopped. And I move it to the left. He's moving again. That's the idea. So let's go back to the animator now and make this one as default layer. Now what we need to do is to just make a transition between idle move and jump and fall. And it will be prettier and cleaner. We can delete this is moving boolean, make transition to jump fall, is ground that should be false, uncheck exit time, duration zero, and make transition back, uncheck exit time, duration zero, and condition should be is grounded true. Yeah, false, true. Jump fall when it is false, idle move when it is true. Okay, now what we need to do is just to control this X velocity in the code. Let's go back to Visual Studio. I'm going to delete these two. I don't need it anymore. This was just an example because I want to show you the basics and then I want to show you the better way, in my opinion. And here I'm going to type anim set float of X velocity to RB velocity dot X. And it is much prettier. Can you agree with me? I guess I hope you can. Right. Now let's go and try this again. And I'm standing, moving, standing, jumping, moving, jumping. It's okay, good. Now let's wrap this up. This was a pretty much enough, I guess, for this video. 
and in the next video I want to do flip because now he's running backwards which is not cool at all. Thanks for watching, rest of the course will be posted on this channel shortly, subscribe not to miss that, check my website for more courses, ask your questions in the comments below and remember, we don't play games, we make them.